Hello and welcome. My name is Norbert Hödebeck Stuntebeck, and it is an honor for me to introduce the Professional Provider Caregiver Board as one of the important parts of IPSO to you with his short history and the vision for the future. The Professional Provider Caregiver Board is one of IPSO's advisory boards and started its work in 2010 in Taipei, Taiwan at the 7th IPSO conference. Together with Mary Kay Sicardi, I have had the privilege to lead this group of enthusiastic and visionable caregivers and providers from all over the world with many years of experience and supporting in supporting people with Prado Willi syndrome. Our work based on the ideas and vision of Pam Eisen, one of the former presidents of the IPSO. The actual board members of the Professional Provider Caregiver Board are Mary Kay Sicardi from the USA and me as the chairs of the PPCB, Hubert Sawyer from Germany, Jackie Mello from the USA, and Larry Janschill from Israel. And all of these are members since the beginning in 2010. And the others are Damien Jones from Australia, Laura Keane from Ireland, Neil Gamley from Australia, Lynn Garrick from the USA and Patrice Carroll also from the USA. And the earlier members were Fanny Cortez from Chile, John Ford from New Zealand, Susan Blitchfeld from Denmark, Micha Pete from Switzerland, Janice Foster from the USA and Lisa Bowman from Sweden. The mission of PPCB or what does PPCB stands for? PPCB's main goal is to bring best practice, information, knowledge and techniques to those providing care and support to the global POS community in order that those living with PWS may live their life with a focus capabilities and possibilities while living with the highest degree of self-determination, quality and satisfaction. When we look back, we cannot look back over a time of 30 years like Ipso, but the last 11 years, the most successful things we did were to develop a room for caregivers and providers in the house of Ipso. Over the past two decades, caregivers have been invited to take a more active role. The Professional Providers and Caregivers Board has provided Ipso members a wide view of the knowledge and opportunities that such a collaboration can provide to men and women with PWS around the world. The leadership of Ipso was progressive in its thinking when deciding to support the initial Professional Providers and Caregivers Board and by making room in the House of Ipso for us. The decision launched the opportunity to repeatedly demonstrate to IPSO members everywhere that together we are better. I am proud of the decade of work that was accomplished during my years as co-chair alongside Norbert. And bring in the focus that caregivers and parents are the central aspect of the quality and the effect of care and the development of people with probability. Syndrome. My name is Hubert Sawyer and I'm proud and happy to be a member of the Ipso family and to be able to work with wonderful colleagues as a PPCB member. From the idea and the founding of the PPCB until today, I have become more and more aware of the importance of the role of professional caregivers and parents in order for people with Prader-Willi syndrome to achieve a high quality of life, both actively participate in the everyday life of people with Prader Willi syndrome. Caregivers and parents can use a good and well founded dialogue to help ensure that people with Prader Willi syndrome receive support appropriate to their special needs. 
developing standards and guidelines to taking care of people with prader willi syndrome. In 11 international conferences between 2008 and 2019, and in 10 in-person meetings of the PPCB board from 2010 to 2019. My name is Larry Genstill. I've been a member of the PPCB board since 2010 where I presented in Taiwan and we also have presented since then in England, in Canada, um, in the, I've presented in the United States. Um, we've done many presentations and also the PPC board has done separate conferences training um, their care staff which I've been involved in as well. I uh, started and ran a group home for people with Peter Willie in Israel in 1991, 93 and I sold it eight months ago because I've, I'm at retirement age. I'm still working as a consultant there, but I don't have the 24-7 the kind of uh, work on my shoulders. Um, it's been an honor to be a member of the PPCB. The people on the board are incredible. It's been a life-changing experience for me, and uh, I hope to continue as long as I can. And the last, the big thing was to produce the standards and guidelines for care. The Professional Providers and Caregivers Board's most time-consuming project over the decade has been the development and publication of the standards and guidelines, which are now in volumes one and two. This was an effort that involved experts on dozens of subjects that were even further discussed in international work groups of professional caregivers. This project began in the inaugural days of the PPCB and much of its early success is due to the founding members of the board. The information contained within volumes one and two is essential to anyone who is a caregiver. When we look into the future, there are many things to do over the next 30 years. But in general, we think it is important to implement the acceptance of self-determination and individuality as the basis of taking care of people with prada Willi syndrome at all ages. And to include all parts of the world to build representative solutions and results. And to bring knowledge to paper. And make knowledge available for all countries, maybe in the form of continental groups. Hi, my name is Laura Keane and I work with Resilience Ireland. I'm privileged to be a member of the Professional Provider and Caregivers Board of IPSWO. We know that early diagnosis of PWS gives parents an opportunity to manage their child's diet prevent or treat infantile failure to thrive, avoid obesity from the start and improve behaviour. Where services are available, it enables families to access critical early intervention services. We need more research on early intervention to demonstrate how important it is to receive comprehensive multidisciplinary supports, treatments and interventions in the early infant to preschool years. We also wish to see more research, which will provide guidance and supports to parents, families, and caregivers, service providers, to give the young child with prader willi syndrome the best possible start in life. So people with PWS are living longer, so it's really an exciting time. There's been a lot of advances in medical knowledge, but also a lot of advances in the way that people with PWS are looked after by professional caregivers. So for the first time, we're experiencing so many new challenges and we're having to adapt to how to look after people as they age with PWS. And with these new challenges come new ways of doing things. So while families were always at the centre of looking after people with PWS, we're now finding that as they age, that becomes more difficult for them. So there's so many areas of challenge to do with grief and other things that people experience. 
So we really need more academic research, not only to progress the medical side of things, but also for best practice for people with PWS, for professional caregivers, so that we can deliver the best possible individualised support for people as they age with PWS in the future. Hello from Down Under. My name is Neil Gunway, and I'm very fortunate to be a member of the Professional Provider Caregivers Board, PPCB. Firstly, I want to congratulate the International prada willi Syndrome Organisation on 30 years of invaluable service to our international community. It's an absolute pleasure to be a member of IPSO and to be able to contribute to the PPCB. One of our main goals as a board is to develop and evaluate training programs to increase the emotional, social and cognitive competencies in children, teenagers and adults living with PWS. By developing recognised best practice training modules, specifically for caregivers, we're able to empower those individuals with PWS with the essential supports to live fulfilling lives and become active members of their community. I really look forward to the next 30 years of IPSO and hopefully look forward to seeing you all soon in Ireland. Hi, my name is Patrice Carroll and I am from Latham Centres in the United States. The Professional Providers and Caregivers Board is pleased to have begun a series of ECHO webinars to bring caregivers from all over the world together to learn, share, and collaborate in our pursuit of best practices for people living with prader willi Syndrome. We're grateful to the Friends of IPSWO for supporting this virtual community of caregivers. Project ECHO was started at the University of New Mexico and uses an all-teach, all-learn model that helps us build a global community working to decrease disparities and promote consistency in the care and support of people with PWS. Hello everyone, my name is Lynn Garrick and I'm a member of the PBCB Board, the Professional Providers and Caregivers Board. Congratulations to IPSO on their 30th year anniversary. What a great organization that provides ongoing support, education, and knowledge to the global prader willi Syndrome community. As a member of the PBCB board, I look forward to working with my colleagues to develop a caregiver training program that utilizes best practices. This formal training program will be available worldwide and will serve as both a tool and a guideline for those providing support and care to those individuals living with prader willi Syndrome. Here's to a great 30 more years. And finally, let me say that we, the Professional Provider Caregiver Board, hope that we can many things together with you on this way in the next 30 years. Thank you so much.